I've been brought up with racing uh, ever since I've been a child, so it's, it's all I know really, but no, I, I love it and that's why I'm doing it and uh, don't want to do anything else. My brother and sister, they, um, they come to all the races when they can and, uh, well, as many as often. So it's just, just great having their support and uh, being able to rely on them if I'm ever, ever needing them. It's great having a little brother who's a racing driver. Since George started racing at eight years old, I've sort of followed his career from day one. He had an amazing first year winning the Formula 4 Championship. I was fortunate enough to actually go to all of the races, so um, I do always say I'm his biggest fan. From winning that, I was nominated for the McLaren Autosport BRDC Award, which is a, a huge award which the likes of Jensen Buss and Paul Ressa have won. And uh, I went on to, to win that as well, so that was a great achievement for me last year. And now I find myself in uh, FIA Formula 3. It's a long process goes into one race weekend and this is the start of it really. Yeah, just double check. It's obviously quite key things. These are the earpieces, uh, so you just talk to the team and the rest, gloves, balaclava and the most important thing I think any driver needs is uh, the helmet. Final preparations for, for tomorrow and getting ready for the weekend. Um, fifth round at Spa. Heading off for some final preparations tomorrow at, at the factory Carlin. Hoping for another another good weekend and uh, well be aiming for victory. Before each event I come down to the Kylan Racing Factory. I go through a lot of data and video from previous years and then we also do a lot of simulation runs on the, on the simulator. They just try and prepare for qualifying as much as possible and, um, and in qualifying you only have two, two or three laps maximum on the tyres when the tyres are at their best. So you need to be on it and ready to push when the tyres are at the best. Ready for spa, can't wait. So, just arrived into France on the way to spa, 200 miles to go, and uh, should be a good trip for my two engineers, Matt and uh, Paul. Racing is pretty much my whole life, and uh, everything is dedicated to that, really. So, obviously, I can't go out, have late nights, or Obviously, I don't drink um, uh, and don't eat any any junk food, which well, a lot of teenagers wouldn't really worry about. Yeah, my family have been massively supportive uh, throughout my career. It started off really a dad and lad kind of thing when I first started karting, and they've been there ever since, really. He doesn't have any home life because he's always at a track or somewhere traveling all over. So he, the sacrifice is he has, there's no school friends at home. His social life is his friends at the track. And we've worked very hard as, as a team, uh, a family unit. Uh, and we get support from the other members of the family. But we're all working really hard for George to achieve the ultimate goal of Formula One. Formula One's always been my ultimate goal since I've been a kid. It was incredibly tough to get there. There's a lot of factors going to it nowadays, but still, I'm just going to try as hard as possible, keep trying to get the results in, and uh, just try and get noticed, really. And George continued his promising start to the Formula Three season with a podium finish in Spa. Using his racing nous, he battled back from 21st to take third place.